Welcome back to Court Farm for episode 7 with me, Mr. Sealy P. We're back. It's been another mad week. <laughs> and as you've already seen, silage clamping is now complete. It's in, it's compacted, and it's covered. We have got nitrogen to do on the fields for court farms. Court farm. I'm going to sleep slapping myself around the face every time we get that wrong. Uh, we have got... Oh, we need to go down to Stone... I keep saying Stony Bridge. Um, for the cow pasture for Caleb. I went back and checked my messages with him. Definitely a hundred beef cattle, he said. I know he does have dairy, because he put on his Instagram the other day, actually, that they, they I said the other day, a while ago. Uh, they've got, um, they just welcomed in 21 new dairy cows. Um, but anyway, yeah, he's got a hundred beef cattle that need a home. So we're gonna drive down and check out the pasture there. Like I said, there's not enough room here at Court Farm. And Court Farm, what we might do is put the majority of them there and put a few here at Court Farm. For part of the country park, sort of, for people to come and see animals, we've got the rabbits, but there'll be some chickens, we'll put some cows in. I think that'll be about right. But anyway, yeah, we've got um, nitrogen to sort out. So I'm going to grab... Actually, you know what? Let's grab... Let's grab this again. What we'll do... We'll leave the forks here for the time being. Good old Guido. We'll need the weight on the front, so I'll swap that around. Avoiding the chickens. We've got a fertiliser in the yard already, so we're good. So, rear weight, drop that. Or lower it, then drop it. I do have a tendency to just drop the weight from a, from a height. And depending on what sort of weight it is, they can roll over and disappear. I did leave some of the grass, I don't know if you noticed actually in the previous episode, but I did leave some of the grass uh, in a heap because we do have um, the grab here for the telehandler. So I put grass in for the rabbits. They were doing great. They're very happy in here. Um, so all the grass that was put into the silage clamp, I left some here. There's not a huge amount, probably 3,000 litres or so, something like that. And what we can do is we can grab some with the silage grab every now and again just to feed the... Um, I mean, obviously in real life that would start to decay. It would rot away and that kind of thing. You need to put it sort of somewhere... <laughs> put it somewhere, you need to put it somewhere on it. Anyway. Right, we're on. So let's go and grab this fertilizer spreader. Now I'm trying to remember whether or not this does 42 meters or 36. It might be 42. It's not got a massive capacity, and I've got a funny feeling because we are we are fertilizer spreading for the first time here. So nitrogening. And we've got precision farming on, so it's going to put down exactly what it needs to be precise. And again, we're going to... The old measure twice, cut once. Uh, let's go on to there, just to make sure that... Yep, our automatic application rate is on. I don't need to change our nitrogen level. It spreads out to 42 metres. We should be okay. Yep. So what I should be doing... Technically, I suppose I should have this on the um, on the case or one of the other farm tractors, and then I should be using the uh, the forks and whatnot to load this up. What we'll do? Let's drop that a little bit lower. We'll gather up a chicken and some fertilizer. I still think it that's another thing that needs to be in game. Is um, I know some mods have it. Um, but there should be chicken manure. The, the chicken should make manure. It, it's used quite a lot. I know in the UK it's used a lot. I don't know about elsewhere in the world, but I know in the UK chicken manure is used, used a lot. 
Yeah, we're going to have to go and get more, aren't we? I'm on Caleb's account at the moment, so I'm thinking what we might need to do to switch over. I'm also going to put some um, some down on the grass field as well. Uh, that's a good point. That was something I wanted to check for when we sort out our, our billing. Um, that is so field 54. So I've been I've been keeping a track of everything we've been doing, but I didn't have because I've been doing I've been doing all the work on the other fields first. Um, it is 3.01 hectares. So it's going to be quite a bill when 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 we're done with all of it. Like I said, we haven't been paid any of it yet. But so what I'll probably do is switch over to Court Farm because I'm not. I mean, it should go down because we have permissions. I suppose the first thing to do will just. Let's check it and see if it works. Let's open that up. There we go. Oh, well, there we go. I'm going to go straight across the middle. And look at how horrifyingly fast that is going down. Mind you, like I say, it's going to 42 metres, so can't really odds that. How's everyone doing? Did a couple of live streams last week. We were a bit short on mods again last week. I say short on mods. It was a slow week for mods. Um, that was interspersed with a few things. I, Mrs. Silly P had a hospital appointment I had to take her to, um, but it wasn't. We live like within five minutes of our hospital, or well, not even that. We can walk to the hospital where we live. Um, but no, of course, her appointment was miles away, so we had to drive, and it was a pain. Then it was our anniversary on Saturday, so Friday because we had a load of stuff we needed to do Saturday, so Friday we were um, out and about, went out and went out for dinner and stuff to celebrate our anniversary, 28 years. Thank you to all those people that messaged to wish us happy anniversary. That was very kind of you. Turn off. Um, and then Saturday we had a few mods, but what I've been doing, and it's that stupid thing of all last week, um, it was starting to get a little bit chillier and I had the wood burning stove on in the man cave a little bit more last week and then started realizing because I've got a bit of a wood store I feel very American very Canadian so I've got plenty of axes you've probably seen from the man cave videos so I um, I've been chopping my wood and I've got a wood store and a wood pile and because I come out here every now and again I, in the last three years, I haven't really used much off my wood pile. It, just, it doesn't really go down very much. I might be out for a couple of hours at a time. I'll, I'll get the wood burning stove going. I'll load it up and it'll be fine for the amount of time I'm out here. But because I'm out here a lot more now, I noticed last week, I think four days last week, I put the stove on just to, you know, to warm it through out here and you know, make it a little bit more comfortable. And uh, I noticed that my wood pile is going down rather rapidly. So what I've got to try and find now is somewhere that I can get some sort of chunks of wood like when you have cords of wood I don't need a full like cord I'm not the thing is I'm not doing a full house I'm just doing a <laughs> a full cord of wood it's going to be way too much what I need but somewhere I can get it cheaper because buying it from a petrol station in the big net bags it's not the most cost effective way of buying it especially when you're getting through it at quite a rate um, but anyway so that all leads on to what I was saying, was I thought, okay, I said about insulating the, the roof in between the rafters, which I hadn't done. Um, so I thought what I'll do is uh, I'll order some uh, big sort of polystyrene type sheets, 25 mil thick, and um, they got delivered. So I thought, okay, it's been a bit nippy. So I had to pick a day when I was gonna do all that. Because it's not so much that polystyrene is not heavy, it's not awkward to work with. I mean, the sheets were pretty big when they arrived. Getting them through the house and out the back was tricky. But it was getting all the measuring right and getting the widths right. And there's a couple where, when I built the man cave, I didn't... I thought I had it absolutely perfect. Um, and I say perfect, it's that thing of, from one end of the rafter, the gap between two sets of rafters might be... I'm going to do it in centimetres again, which is going to annoy people like say for example 40 centimeters so the gap's 40 centimeters brilliant so one end's 40 centimeters and the other end somehow is 39 or 39 and a half and you think it doesn't seem much but if you just cut it all at 40 it won't fit if you cut it at 39 you've got a gap one end so then you find yourself spending a lot of time doing that fine tuning a lot of fiddling around to um to get it all just right so on um sunday 
I thought, you know what, I'll come out, I'll get all the insulation sorted out. So when, you know, as obviously we're in October now, the temperatures drop in more and we'll, I'll get the insulation done and I haven't got to worry. And then what happens? We get the hottest weather we've had. <laughs> we've got four days of like 24 degree heat. This is brilliant. I'm insulating because it's getting cold and then we have a hot spell. Anyway, so that's why, yeah, the videos have been a little bit sporadic here and there. There's been a lot going on, but... It's done now, the insulation on the roof is done, the ceiling's done. I had to do a bit of reorganising with stuff that I have because I've got things attached to the various different rafters and uh, I keep saying rafters, it's probably the wrong word for it if you're a carpenter or a house builder or something like that. Apologies if I'm saying the wrong thing. But what we'll do, there's a little bit left in the building to the side. Not a huge amount, I'm just hoping it's enough. Because we haven't got much left to do. Whether or not I'm close enough. There's a two. Can I get close enough for this? Probably not. I reckon I could probably go next to the wall and get away with it, but... Can I get close enough there? Yeah, with that one. Not quite close enough for that one, though. I'll turn it a little bit. There we go. Right. So, yeah, it'll be a case of... Because it hasn't been too cold, but I reckon when we get into like proper winter, if we especially if we get down to last year, we had temperatures minus nine, minus ten, which for the UK was it was bonkers. I said when we did that trip up to the Lake District, and uh, the the washer thing froze on the van, and we just you just couldn't get it to work. It was absolutely crazy. Um, so what we probably could have done. Oh no, it's because we're using this somewhere. I was going to say, we probably get done with a sprayer. A precision farming sprayer, but anyway, it's good. Yeah, so when we get down to temperatures like minus nine, and especially on a day if it's got a bit of a wind to it, and we've got a bit of wind chill, that's when we're going to find, we're going to find the drafts. We're going to find the gaps. <laughs> when you've got an icy blast against your legs, or, you know, that's going to become glaringly obvious, I think. So what we should have now, I'll finish off the rest of this. I'm going to have to speak to the guys at Court Farm because they're going to need to buy some more fertiliser. Um, we'll have to go and collect that, but anyway. So this should be now same, bottom right, pH value perfect, nitrogen perfect. So as I said before, if you're new to the game, because there are a lot of new players, because it's free on PlayStation Plus this month, if you're new to the game, if you've jumped in and you've gone with the whole hog and you've got precision farming game, which is a big jump forward if you're completely new to the game, but if you are, or you've been playing for a while but you haven't really done much precision farming um, you need to put your crop in first seed first then do your nitrogen because the nitrogen required for each crop type is different the nitrogen requirement for each for, for example I'm sure it's soybean soybean in its growth produces its own nitrogen so you can do a soybean crop and harvest and it actually leaves more nitrogen in the ground um, than it uses I think that's right Anyway, um, I had a message from Caleb. You know, I said the other day, I hadn't heard from him for a little while. He's been absolutely just inundated with harvest and all the rest of it. He, he put a picture up on his Instagram of, he was out with the power harrow, and they were power harrowing one of the fields ready for seeding to get it all nice, smooth seed bed. And um, it, was, it was proper where they ploughed it. It was big clods and, you know, they were out power harrowing. Um, so when he messaged me the other day, he apologised to me. and said, I'm so sorry, you know, I've been really busy. And, you know, and I, I felt didn't have to apologise, I was just worried, I thought I'd, I thought I'd been fired already, you know, and um, he said he was um, drilling, so I said I just put keep him straight, because from Clarkson's farm, when Clarkson did his lines all over the place, and one thing Caleb always says is, from the road, other farmers driving past can see how neat your work is, and he sent me a picture from in his cab, of him in the cab doing his drilling, I was over the moon, chuffed the bits. Right, that's that done. Let's give across. So rolling will still need to be done. Let's turn it in there. In there. And let's get crack a lack in. I'll see you in a bit when this is all done. We'll drive down to the other farm and have a look at the pasture because we need to purchase that for KCC. 
and then we need to get the cows in and then it's going to be a case of sorting out the feed and we've got those straw bales we've got of this field we were going to purchase them we are still going to purchase them but um caleb had said about purchasing them to sell um but i think what we're going to do we have to use them for bedding so um oh actually no we're not are we because they're in a pasture we probably won't need to will we but if we do put any here up at court farm we'll need we'll need some for bedding so yeah i don't know we'll work it out so it'll be that thing of we can either buy them from court farm and sell them or we we buy them to use so it's court farm are going to pay us for the work they've done we're going to buy the bales off them so i guess what we'll do we'll just work out a trade-off where when they pay us for the work we've done there'll be a little bit less to allow for the cost of the bales that would make more sense wouldn't it i reckon so if we can swing that around there we go yeah we're definitely gonna need more Right, when I went back up to the store to pick up the um, uh, the new fertiliser, um, I went up with the fertiliser spreader, but what I did was put the fertiliser spreader box on the front, left the weight behind, and then picked up the um, roller at the same time. This is a different roller than the one I used last time. I, I sorted this out, I thought, oh, we'll lease this one, um, and then suddenly thought, hang on a minute, I'm sure that's not the one we had last time. This is the PB5032. This is a 6 metre, I'm sure we had a 6.4 last time. The good, the didn't we? Anyway, regardless, um, we got that, it's a 6 metre. So, Land Rover, we're going to whiz down to the farm, check out this paddock for the cows. And like I said, we are going to split. It's 100 cows we've got to bring down. So I think what we're going to do is split. Maybe put 20, I can't remember how many this holds now. I did this before, didn't I? I checked it and I've completely forgotten again. And I've also forgotten where the trigger is. I think it might be through the other side, isn't it? Is it through here? Can't remember. Was it in here? There we go. 50. All right, so we can put 25 in here. Right, so we're going to put 25 in here. I know people love to see the old dairy cows. I don't know whether Caleb would be cross if I split it. He, he specifically said beef cows. And I know he does have dairy as well. Whether or not we do 25 dairy and put them in here. And then 75 beef down at the other one. How cross do you think he'll be? <laughs> For ignoring his instructions and just doing my own thing. <laughs> For using my initiative, that's not a good thing, is it? I used my initiative, honest, go. Um, right, yeah, let's whiz down. Is it worth me taking? No, no, we'll do bales later on. There's not a shortcut for this. We'll just go. Back onto the main road, head down, and let's go and check this out. It's been quite late, uh, late, light. I was thinking earlier, I thought, did I turn the traffic off? Oh, there you go, we've got a car coming out. I haven't, but just recall there being more. It would be nice at some point to earn enough money. Oh, I've got to swap over bank accounts, haven't I? Back to, to KCC. So you've got Caleb Cooper contracting and Caleb Cooper cows. We want a car right up me chuff. Clear off you. 
Just stone bridge, not stony bridge. There we go. Turn that off. And we want to go. Actually, we'll go on foot, I guess, from here. So we want. Yeah, it's here, isn't it? This is it. Nice big old pasture. And it'll probably need water then because it's a pasture. We got a trough here for feed and water, but then there won't be there won't be manure because it's a pasture, so you won't get I won't need the straw for bedding, but we will need it up at Court Farm. Let's swap account. That's better. Now let's go to see if we can purchase this. How much was this one? It was 90 something, wasn't it? 89. It was, I thought it was more, but it wasn't. This is where I sort of realised I've gone for the wrong one. It's definitely this larger one, isn't it? <laughs> it definitely is, isn't it? I don't know. Is the farm only 83? That's 89, that's 83. Oh, we haven't got enough to do both at the moment, but I thought, I thought for some reason I had in my head that was like 200,000. Right, okay. So we've purchased that on behalf of KCC. It looks like it's definitely, that's a milk tank, isn't it? That's where our drop-off point is. It'll take 200. So yeah, we'll do 75 beefers in here and we'll do um, 25 dairy up at court. And it'll just be a case of bringing down what they need. I'll open the gate now. Um, why is that opening? We own this. Oh, there we go. Just have to be at the side. There we go. Not quite in the middle, but to the side. Now, I've got to drive out to um, back to towards Chadlington now, and actually, it's not as bad a drive as you'd think. Um, from where we are at Court Farm, we're just to the east of Western Supermare down a little bit from there m5 between us and western supermare so it's up past bristol out towards swindon and up towards oxford um so there will just be yeah and then we'll, we'll drive back down like i say we'll bypass swindon we haven't got to drive through it swindon past bristol down to here and offload um this is not it would be more advantageous to um to use an articulated there are a couple of articulated animal transporters but I'm just thinking yard size and stuff um, I don't think we're gonna get away with that anyway I shall crack on I'm gonna drive off let's go and grab the um, transporter that has been provided and let's start transferring over Caleb Cooper cows Let's do this. I'll tell you what, the reality of doing this sort of thing is th this one that I'm using at the moment, you'll see from the outside, this only carries 12 and you can have a trailer that goes on the back of this. And even the articulated ones, the realistic sizing only goes up to you know, a certain amount. If you're gonna transport 100 cows, 100 cow, it's a lot of backwards and forwards unless you're using multiple vehicles. I mean, that's just the reality of, of yeah, doing this. I'll tell you what we'll say as well. Driving something like this, because I thought about the articulated thing, I thought driving through some of the country lanes like you get here in the UK. Um, I've said this before. My, the hat I, goes off to anyone who does this for a living. <laughs> because I, I don't know if I've told this story before. Um, when you drive down country lanes, it's all well and good driving down country lanes. And, you know... We all like doing that little bit of rally driving, which I've only ever done when you've got clear sight lines. When you can see where you're going, that's all in good. The question is, can I? Like I say, with an articulated lorry, this would be a lot trickier. Have I got enough room to turn when I get in there? Um, 
when uh, we used to go on holiday, I mentioned this before when we were live streaming, we used to go to holiday, on holiday down to Devon. My aunt lived in Devon and we used to drive around the country lanes down in Devon from place to place to go and visit places that we were you know, going to with them and my cousins and whatever. And my aunt used to drive like an absolute lunatic. I mean, an absolute lunatic. And terrify us. Like 60 mile an hour down country lanes, you know, it, it was insane. So the first ones were getting into beefers and then I'll go and get a dairy load and we'll take the dairy load to court. Move to husbandry. Fold that up. Um, and her argument was always this. And it's one thing I never really understood too much until I started driving as an adult. Um, let's just double check on that. So, yeah, they're going to need water. Um, but nothing for straw because it's a, uh, yeah. And we can do silage, which is what we're going to do. We're not doing total waste ration. We're going to bring silage down here and do silage bales. Now, that all those contracts we've been doing, we haven't got a huge amount. We've got enough to keep us going for a while. But it's the sort of thing, again, that's a rolling thing. Every year, like every farm does, every farmer does, you're doing enough for that year. You know, yes, we all go into that style of gameplay where it's like it's lovely, like big American maps or big fields to do enough silage. Like, a, like, I, like I've said before, like I often do, like I always have done that prep and, and making sure I've got more than enough to keep me going for a long, long, long period of time. Realistically, where do you store it all? Most farmers will go from year to year to year. And it's, you know, the year is spent doing whatever crop, whatever animal stuff you're doing, whatever you're doing, and you have enough stuff put by to get you through, hopefully, through that year. And then if you if you run out, you have to buy more. If you've got left over, that's great for the following year. And then you start the process again and roll through into the next year. That's just the way it is. So will we have enough silage bales? Hopefully. There's plenty of baling going on at the moment. We've got plenty of baling contracts. So I could just keep doing more if I wanted to, to make sure we've got a big old stockpile of them. I think what we're going to have to do at some point is lease a flatbed trailer, use the telehandler up at Court Farm, and load or get one of the um, auto stack tra bale trailers that we use for the contracts. And um, because we didn't own this, well, I suppose technically we don't own this farm yet either, so some more contract work, and maybe we can purchase this. And then KCC will have their own farm. Again, it's, it's a pit you can't rent farms in game. You can you can technically you buy a field you can give it back but that ability to lease fields would be quite cool i know i think pc have got a mod for it anyway yeah so she would bang around you know and her argument was i know these roads at the back of my hand and i was i would always think well yeah i suppose if you live down here and you're driving these road lanes all the time of course you would do but as i grew up and then learned to drive myself the argument then the other way is you unless you're clairvoyant <laughs> And she's a lovely lady, Claire. Um, unless you're clairvoyant, you may know the roads like the back of your hand, but you don't know whether something's coming the other way. So when you're going round a blind bend and you're doing 60 mile an hour because you know the road, you meet something coming the other way down a lot of these country lanes, which is pretty much just wide enough for one vehicle. Sometimes you might have enough room for two at an absolute squeeze it becomes a terrifying prospect. Then add into that, you imagine, I mean, there are some roads and lanes and stuff around where, where I live, not far from where I live, and we go out various different places where there are bus routes as well. So you'll be going around this lane, and the van's a lot bigger than my car ever was, um, and you meet a bus coming the other way, which takes up the entire road. Trying to find passing points is insane. Anyway, so yeah, my hat goes off again too. Any articulated lorry drivers, or lorry drivers, or just HGV, or whatever it is you do, you guys are awesome. See you in a bit, back at Court Farm, for some dairy cows.
There we go. So I think what we'll probably do is 24, because it may, it make more sense coming here to do two. If we're going to do 25, that's going to be two loads and then going back for one cow, which makes more sense to do. Uh, I'm going to go this way. I think what we'll do. Let's swing around here. He says. <laughs> I'm looking at my left mirror, keeping that wall to that side. And where do we need to be? Let's move over a little bit. right isn't it have I only gone and done what oh, did I hit those oh no did I hit the eggs that's not bad I'll take that let's put the 12 in I love that look. Already the cow's gone. Yeah, I'm gonna lay down. Let's chill out. I love that look. Just notice the cow pats, look. Didn't notice that before. Okay, so as you can imagine, um, I've got a load more to do. I'm going to do one more load of dairy here. I'm going to do one more load of beef over to Stonebridge. Um, and then we'll sort out the feed because otherwise battles and falls, battles and falls, it's going to take me ages. I'll do the rest, bring the rest of the hundred over off camera. But at least we'll have some in and we can get some feeding done. Um, it's going to be a lot easier here because we can get the silage in and we can get the bedding in. And they won't, they won't require water here at Court Farm because they're in the building. At least I don't think they do. Do they? No, straw, no. We're good, we're good, we're good. But again, silage. Now the clamp here is not going to be ready. So we're going to work out a deal with Court Farm whereby some of the silage barrels, because they've allowed us to store the silage barrels here on site from the contract work we've been doing, we'll use some of our silage to, to feed their cows now. And then if at any point we need, if we run low, there's a load in here, was it 200 and, what do we have, 250, 260,000 litres, something like that? Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and get some more cows and I'll see you back in a little bit and we'll get some feeding done. Right. 24 in here, 24 down the road. Like I said, the rest will just sort out later on. What I need now is this. And we'll do it with bail spikes doesn't matter now with the silage bales because we're going to be taking the wrap off anyway. But we'll go and grab some of those straw bales for the bedding. And like I say, it's a trade-off now because we're kind of... KCC and Corp Farmer working hand in hand, really. Just got the lights on for there. I don't know how many bales we're going to need. Probably all of them, though, my luck. Or where they go, actually. I'm thinking it's going to be either. It should be here, shouldn't it? We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. Inevitably, I'll get it wrong first time round. But... As long as they've got some bedding and they don't run out, it doesn't matter. I say it doesn't matter, of course it matters, but... Oh, actually, that's probably too many. Probably should have gone with two. Oh, that's horrendously not in the middle. And 
up on the actual... Uh, we're on the wonk there, but it's alright. <laughs> Look at that. That's horrendous. Whoa! Whoa there, doggy! Take it nice and steady. Just, we are a little bit bumpy over here. So I would have thought it'd be this side. But I could be wrong. I'm wrong. Okay, so it's not there. Where is it? There's got to be a straw point, hasn't there? That says manure heap, so... Really? I'd be surprised if it's... Okay, well, we'll try. At least down at the other farm, we won't have to worry. It's just, it's literally going to be... Um, size bales, so that won't be a problem. We'll get some feed in. I'm assuming it's here. Nope. Does it require a blower? We don't have a blower. That would be a bit much, wouldn't it? It's not there. Really? I'm surprised. Nope. At least the cows are interested in the bales. <laughs> okay, not there. Hmm. That's a curious one. I'll stick that to the side. We'll have to work that out though. Let's go and grab some of those silage bales. So what we can do as well is, um, I don't know if we'll be able to hook up to the trailer or not, we might need to use the, oh no, the Land Rovers, I've left it up at the, uh, but Chadlington, until we finish our last run with the lorry. Um, will this hook up to this trailer? Possibly. It will, brilliant stuff, right. We can get some silage bales on, I know it's only a small trailer, we can get some silage bales on this to go down to the other farm, to Stonebridge. Yeah, we'll get some of that. It was just three at a time. Uh, we'll go with... So as long as we can get some feed down there, this is going to tip over, isn't it? Like it did before when I made an absolute gaff of everything. Oh no, that's alright. That's two on. Cool. So what we'll do is we'll do that, that and that. Eat your heart out, Tom ben Pemberton. Remember way back, they did a. You had to unwrap, was it three? Two or three size bales? Oh, they were against the clock. Yeah, obviously it's a little bit easier when we're doing it like this, but. Right, so. Did I close that gate for the cows? I can't remember now.
No, I didn't. Well, they didn't wander off. That's good. I went through the gap. No. Oh. You absolute melt. How have we got them skills to pay those bills? Come on, please take this. I don't understand this. Where's the triggers? I thought they were all here. I'm on the right farm, we're on court farm. bales off. What's going on here? How are these bales stuck? Oh, there we go. So, fit, so. where did the bedding go? Then? If it took the feed that side, why did it not take the bedding? Mind the cows. Do not prong the cows. Sorry. Sorry. Well, that's just weird. So, at least... Ten thousand six hundred fifty litres, barely scratch the surface. This straw is gonna annoy me. So if the if the feed went that side, at least the cows are eating as well. It's gotta be here, surely. That's showing the tip marker is there. We found the fit went in there. That's for taking out. This is the manure heap. <clears throat> Water points there. Milk points here. Dialogue boxes here. Does it, does it come in this bit? I'm thinking if the stall's here. Maybe it's round here. Or further in here? I don't know. Well, give me a few minutes and I'll have a fiddle around and see if I can get this to work. And then we'll go down and we'll get the silage in for the cows down the stone bridge. We worked out. <laughs> we had to get a straw blower in the end. Um, but it wasn't, it was one of those weird things, it wasn't anywhere I would have thought it would have been, which was peculiar. I'm just going around closing all the gates to make sure everything's shut. Um, I, yeah, we, we leased this, it was 1,000 something I think it was, I say uh, we did, Court Farm did, um, put two square bales in it, um, I drove it, reversed it back along here, so the blower was pointing in that direction, nothing, I opened these two gates here, and then backed right the way through in case it was here. Then I came in, just about squeezed it through here in case it blew into here, nothing. So I thought, okay, maybe with the blower then we need to come in from this side, down here, no. As I was reversing up here, it came up to unload, literally in line with this, and it blew over the top of this into there. But there was no, there's no trigger icon, there's nothing. So I thought, okay, well maybe if I just put a bale there, it'll work. No. If I put a bale there, no. 
it seems to be that it needs to go with the straw blower unless it's right inside the building there which would mean small bales going in but yeah that's where I got it to work <laughs> spraying over the top of that in, literally just in that location which is odd um, we're gonna need to invest in either KCC or Court Farm a larger flatbed trailer um, I've got three bales on this one and because I've got two different bale sizes I've got the middle lot of 3500s and the outer lot of 5500s so I've got two three fives and one five five on here we'll take these down we'll we'll cut them open and we're gonna need water for that pasture as well um, so I think as well potentially at some point we'll be investing in a larger water tanker as well because the one we've got for doing the rabbits was it was a hundred a uh, hundred thousand liters and we went backwards and forwards to the pond which was right here on the doorstep but if we're doing this down here at another farm and because we don't own the farm obviously we don't have um so we don't have access to the i suppose rivers and stuff we probably have so we'll take this down and we'll get the first silage bales in i need to bring a load more down so off the back of me saying what i said about the silage court farm not kcc have taken on three baling contracts all four wrapped silage bales so what we will do as kcc as a contracting company we will take on those contracts and do them for them and then what we should have as we've been seeing with the silage baling um, we seem to be getting loads of spare bales left over so if, if, if at this point it was all about us making as much money as possible which generally speaking is the route I tend to go down then um, oh hang on a minute is this going to work? what might do then fair enough we could sell all the spare bales but if you want to use them for something like this because the cows on here take silage and that takes you up to 90% which actually when that's only one can no that wasn't what I meant to do oh that's gonna be a problem isn't it there we go that's what I want to do and that's what I want to do there we go so that's right back on um, yeah because usually with total mixed rations silage is only one constituent part of potentially two or potentially three if you go for silage and hay or silage hay and straw and then mineral feed if you want that in there as well the fact you can get to 90% with just silage winner winner so the question is going to be as well then what side of the troughs is this i'm going to unload these i should have I, you know what i was going to drive down here with the telehandler is there a gate out that way there is that might be a little bit easier might it um i was going to drive down here with the telehandler with a little trailer on the back of oh no there's no point and now i'm thinking it probably was not going to take them off the trailer it's going to take them off the floor assume it will take them in bale form at all oh, I can't believe I did that all right let's do this well, I'm going to have to go and get the telehandler anyway so assuming like I say it's the front here not the back anyway let's give those a shove along see if they'll go from there oh please tell me this has not got to be loose from a mixer that's okay so it's not either of those let me go around the other side oh. <laughs> oh dear me Yep, that side. Brilliant. So I can't pick these up now, can I? I could just shove them around. I'm going to go and get the telehandler. I'm going to go and grab another three bales um, of the five fives. Bring them down the telehandler. We'll get those unloaded. And I need to get the water tank down here. Even if I just get 1,000 litres in here. And then, we'll, like I said, we'll speak to Court Farm about potentially... Oh, t I mean, this is KCC, so I suppose technically KCC should get a get a larger tanker but that's something to aim towards but what we should have now the fact that let me put that in is pretty cool um no that was the right one 
go to KCC, go up to our animals. <laughs> 3,516 litres, get in. <laughs> That's going to take so much, isn't it? It's going to be a ridiculous amount. Um, and then we've got the rest of the cows. So 24 on the other side, so 24 here. Okay. Let me go and grab three more. I'll see you back down in a minute with three more on and the telly handler. And that'll be us pretty much done. I need to get the rolling sorted out. I'm just thinking time-wise on, on what we've got done so far. I think we can actually as well. We can cut through there. Sorry, wrong side of the road. Uh, we can cut through there and we can go up the side of that field and we can come into the bottom of the farm there. But we don't own that field, so technically we'll be driving through someone else's property. But we could do if we wanted to. Yeah, just having the telehandler on the front would have made that so much easier. I mean, this is this is a ridiculously large tractor for such a small trailer, but we, we definitely need a larger trailer. It worked fine for bringing a few bags of seed down, and you know that's not a problem at all. But we're going to need a bigger boat. Definitely need a bigger trailer. <laughs> You wouldn't believe, just from going for 3,500 litre bales to 5,500, the difference in size, they wouldn't sit on the bale trailer. They kept falling off the bale trailer. It was like silage bale Jenga. And that top one has defied the laws of physics. I don't know how that's ended up staying on there, but it has. Uh, bought the water tank down, like I say. We'll get 1,000 litres in, but we need to get something bigger because we're going to be battling some falls all over the place. And then, like I say, unless I can find somewhere um, up here, Do is there we go. We'll do that. And then we'll hop in here. Get a bit of water in, and at least they've got some time mix ration, or not time mix ration, they've got some silage, should I say, and they've got a little bit of water. So they're not going to be thirsty, they're not going to be hungry, we're good to go. Um, so I guess, well, I've got to get all the rest of the stuff brought over actually. I need to bring all the rest of the silage bales over here. We've got the silage, bale, silage baling contracts. I'll show you them. I'm not going to show me doing them, but you'll see the end result, and I'll do what I always do. I'll show the um, the screenshots. If we go to Court Farm and we go up to Contracts now, there you go. So, baling field 70, 79, and 130. Each one of those is um, silage bales. Two lots going to biogas plant, one lot going to farmer's market. They pay quite well, and we should have some bells left over. So that's all good. That's, that's on behalf of Court Farm. So we'll have all our side, silage bells down here. The Court Farm silage bells will be up there. Between the two farms and the amount of cows we've got, we should have enough for everybody to um, to do all right. Um, I was going to head back up. I suppose I should really get on with the rolling. And then once I've done the rolling, I can bring the bales and stuff down at any point. Um, I can do it a little bit at a time, or as and when needed. But I guess I need to find somewhere down here to get water from, like I say, which may mean buying the farm, I'm not sure. But I'll get back up to the farm, I'll whiz out and let's get the rolling at least started. And then, um, I think that'll probably be, the, be it for this particular episode. There we go. Water tank dropped off. Let's grab the roller. I'm hoping that's that says Cambridge roller. <laughs> oh man, I hope I haven't got this in kind of mulching configuration or something. That's definitely a Cambridge roller. Let's get our lights on. Nearly quarter past three.
Hang on. Have I rolled this already? Did I roll? When did I roll that? Am I losing my mind? I am losing my mind. I don't remember rolling that. Oh, blimey, what am I doing? No, it's done. <laughs> I can't believe that. Ah, okay. That doesn't need rolling. It's been done. Which means I now owe court farms about 1,300 for the lease of this. No, not 1,300. This was a smaller one. This was like 300 or something. I better check that. Oh, that's terrible. How can I have forgotten rolling? Oh, I've even made a note of it on my... Oh, man. How much is that roller? Let's have a look. Under rollers. I'm sure it was... That's one we used last time. But that was to get the seed bed, wasn't it? Oh, no. 1,966 to buy. To lease it, if we put it in its Cambridge roller... Yeah, 237. Okay. That's not horrendous. <laughs> oh, on that... On that catastrophic failure of memory, <laughs> that's the end of this episode. <laughs> I've got a bit to do now. Some movement of things. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.